Welcome to Juliet Kitchen. Today I'm sharing a super easy recipe that my husband and I have for dinner. It's grilled chicken breast, roasted asparagus, served with a delicious vinaigrette. This recipe is amazing and it's delicious and healthy. Stick around long enough and you'll see how I make it. Before we get started, if you're new here to the channel, please consider subscribing. Also, give the video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it and click the bell for notification whenever I upload a new video. I'm using three chicken breasts that I've washed thoroughly. They're skinless and boneless. And by the way, I would beg to say that this chicken breast recipe is better than restaurant quality. And here's why. Start by tenderizing the chicken breast with a meat mallet and flatten the thickness so that the size is even and it cooks evenly. I'm using both sides of the meat mallet, the flat side as well as the side with the grooves. This will allow the chicken breast to absorb the seasoning much better. For this recipe, I'm using a pound and a half of chicken breast. This is three chicken breasts that weighs about eight ounces each. Important tip, always clean and sterilize cotton boards right after cutting poultry. I wanna season it with salt generously. I like fresh ground black pepper. I have my leftover vinaigrette. This is a lemon vinaigrette, so I'm going to pour this right on. I would say that's about two tablespoons. Let's mix it all together. I'm going to let this sit for about 15 minutes. Uh, to go with the chicken, I'm roasting some asparagus. This is about two bunch. Unless my asparagus is very thick, I don't shave them. So I'm gonna cut off about, I would say, three inches. Add them to a sheet pan. These stalks are actually very good uh, for stock. To flavor the asparagus, peel and roughly chop two to three cloves of garlic. You can adjust that based on your taste bud. Add the garlic to the tray with the asparagus. And I have my friend thyme. I'm going to put a few sprigs in here. We like things spicy around here, so I'm going to add some red pepper flakes. Mm, that much. Half a teaspoon, maybe. Whatever. <laughs> Avocado oil. Enough to coat the asparagus thoroughly. Just make sure the asparagus are in a lay one single layer. Into the oven at 425. I have my grill pan heating up and I could start to see some smoke on here. Uh, for this recipe, I'm using avocado oil, which has a high smoke point, but you could use any uh, type of high smoke point oil that you prefer. My favorite pan to use is a cast iron grill pan, and I heat it until it starts smoking before adding the avocado oil. These cook very quickly. I love using a cast iron pan because they work as a perfect nonstick. I always also like to have a sheet pan ready with a parchment paper because sometimes depending on the thickness of the chicken, it may not cook through and you have the color that you want and then I usually finish it in the oven. Okay, these look beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Wow, these asparagus look gorgeous. Look at that. Perfect. Nice bright green, which is what you want. And they should wobble, baby, wobble, wobble, baby, wobble. And there you have it, these beautiful chicken. The juices ran clear. Look at that. I actually have some avocado dressing left over from yesterday. This is avocado and tomato. It works perfectly with the chicken. I'll leave the recipe in the description box below. This avocado tomato creamy vinaigrette is absolutely delicious, so I like to make extra and it doubles as a sauce. 
I like to serve it with some avocado on the side. Sprinkle with some Maldon salt. This looks so yummy and it smells yummy. See here, let's cut the chicken down the middle. Wow, look at this. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You see that? Nice, juicy, tender. That sauce, mmm. Mmm. Wow, it's so good. The vinaigrette that I seasoned the chicken with was perfect. A great idea of what you can do with leftover vinaigrette, use it as a marinade, why not? And FYI, this fine dining restaurant quality chicken breast with asparagus and avocado cost me less than $40 for dinner and it feeds my family of three. I hope you give it a try and enjoy it as much as we do.